Hello guys, out on my BMW K1200 GT and welcome to another review. As you can see we're just pulling up to Triumph in Wokenham and we are going off to uh, get the 2019 Triumph Tiger 1200 XRT and take it out for a road test. So let's pull up, go and see the guys and uh, get the bike. So here she is, like I said, it's the 2019 Triumph Tiger XRT1200. Uh, it's got a 1215cc one, 1, engine, kicking out 139 brake horsepower, 122 newton meters. Uh, on the 1200s, they're shaft drive, not chain drive, so obviously I'm used to it with my uh, BMW. So let's get her out on the road and see what she does. Like I said, she's uh, she's the XRT model, so she's got lots of uh, extras on it. So you've got the uh, electronic suspension, front and rear, which you can adjust on the go. You've got obviously your road modes, so you've got your road, your rain, and your off-road. You've got to, uh, a fully uh, electronic adjustable screen. You've got heated grips, heated seats, uh, and on this model it had the um, quick shifter auto blipper, which I found very, very useful. Uh, and I must admit the gearbox was very very smooth so the reason I wanted to take the 1200 out instead of the 800 is obviously I'm, I'm six foot tall so I, I need quite a large bike uh, this one has an adjustable seat height of between 835 to 855 millimeters I believe this was set in the lowest setting when I took it out uh, but I got my both feet flat on the floor and I had no uh, no problems whatsoever holding the bike. So uh, yeah, we're just uh, we're going for a few country roads and just uh, testing testing the bike out. Obviously, that goes out and about on an Indian Scout. Uh, he's got the Triumph Scrambler, um, so he's having a bit of fun on that. So while I was out on the road test, I obviously tested the uh, the front brakes out on this thing, and the uh, the front brakes are 305 millimeter floating discs, and they've got the Brembo four piston uh, calipers with uh, switchable ABS. So I uh, tried the front brakes; very impressed. Uh, they uh, they worked really really well. Uh, the rear brake is a single 282 millimeter disc. With a Nissin two piston sliding caliper again with switchable ABS. I found that not so good, um, I found it very weak, um, so I wasn't impressed with that at all. Has a full TFT screen on here, which I, uh, I thought was really good, however, I did have a, a bit of problem as you just saw there of seeing the indicators uh, when the, the light shining onto the TFT obviously reflects back. I couldn't see if the indicator was going or not uh, and because of the switch or some gloves I wasn't positive I didn't feel like I, I had switched it on properly so I needed to, to check the dashboard to make sure that was the case. So we've just pulled in here to uh, White Waltham we've been riding for about uh, 45 minutes up to this point um, just showing you around the bike uh, sorry for the state of it it was absolutely filthy but obviously that's how we got it um, it's a it's a nice looking bike. Uh, I do like the colour scheme. Blue is uh, one of my favourite colours, so uh, that's really nice. And as you can see there, you've got the shaft drive. Um, overall, I was impressed with the bike. Uh, and as you can just see, we're just looking around the uh, the uh, street scrambler. I think it is that um, Jess was on. And as you can see now, Jess is trying to get hold of uh, some free um, advertisement on my channel. Uh, go and check him out on Instagram. Uh, obviously, I'll link his uh, Instagram in the description below. guys 
just returning the bike back to time. Let's say overall was probably out for about an hour and a half. Uh, overall impressions, I uh, love the bike, uh, very comfortable to ride and um, it has everything that you could possibly need. So if you guys are interested in a Triumph at all then uh, head down to uh, Bulldog in Wokena. Go and see the guys in there and I'll be able to help you out. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, ride safe. Bye bye.